I'm not gonna lie, I based my whole purchase of this game around the fact that the guy had a shotgun on the cover. And I'm gonna fucking boost up this brightness because it always comes up way darker on the recording. Um, what I see actually is a lot lighter. So, stores. Okay, thanks for telling me. Anyway, before we jump into this, which I don't even know, you know how great this game's gonna be or what, but uh, it actually had subtitles on. Oh yeah, that speech volume better be max. They actually had subtitles on. We can put them in uh, a lot of language. But Polsky, is that Russian? Netherlands. I'm sure that would be great for some people and very annoying for others. So whatever game, let's go in here. Medium. That sounds good to me. Man, they already had my stuff already picked out. So let's jump into this. See what's going on in here. See, I don't, I don't know. Like usual, I don't read up on games before. I don't I don't like to spoil a lot of stuff for me. So I, I haven't seen the reviews, but you know what? I'll I'll do my own thing. I'll do my own thing. That is what we will do. If I can ever get past the loading screen, that is what we'll do. So how are you guys today? I'll also get back to Kingdom Hearts and Old World Dialogue, uh, probably later today, actually. It's gonna be a busy day. I got a loading screen to get through, and then I have to upload these videos, and then I have to listen to some more dialogue in Old World Blues. Because if you haven't seen those videos or played the DLC for yourself, it is a lot Jesus of talking. Jesus Christ! Hmm. We are already uh, just kind of fucking around here, and I'm already getting oh shot by God. what the hell? We are already getting shot. Where am I getting? I'm just gonna shoot these guys. There you go. LAPD. Police. Out of the way. Man, these the, the controls are a little uh, a little weird too. So I'm just gonna shoot these Hummers. This is this is a really random uh, beginning, though I haven't played the other games. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I really have not played the other games, so forgive me on that. Oh. So if this starts off from the other game that was previous to it, uh, someone fill me in, or I'll just go look up the wiki. Something like that. You are not an enemy. I don't know if you. Well, you are probably an enemy. I have a lot of people with me. Seems like uh, all of our enemies happen to be Hummers. That is some pretty terrible gas mileage right there. All right, will you? I put two clips into you, sir. You should be gone. You should be gone. Okay, I think the driver's oh dead. And all I'm hearing is way more complaining than what should be happening. Like, I should be doing most of the complaining. This guy driving is not so great either. Alright, sniper, you gotta... Whatever you have... Let's just get off the highway. Thank you. Most random intro ever. Hi. Hey, welcome to the game, car chase. Three weeks earlier. Oh great, we're doing we're doing this. What game did this recently? Huh. Well. People be bombing Los Angeles. Great. It's either Los Angeles, Washington, or Chicago or New York. Military intervention into Mexico and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico, but then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough. This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force, and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. 
Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza, but the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dix and I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Nice words. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. He's also the only DEA agent involved in the investigation who managed to survive the Because bomb. he's helping them, right? I'm sure. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans, the youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She cheated. Look at she her. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. I brought her into the task force because of her ties to Los Angeles criminal gangs connected to the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? Detective Benjamin McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. A 30-year veteran, he is a two-time winner of the Medal of Valor. A homicide detective? With all due respect, ma'am, isn't this a little out of his jurisdiction? Oh, wow, that's mean. Not at all. Stone's daughter Jessica contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. The suspect is Antonio Alvarez. Why'd she take that to the LAPD? Why not come to us? Oh, guess that's why. Care to explain that's it? Why. That's right, Agent Guerra. They all served together in Vietnam. McCall knows them both. So two became cops? And one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. How long have you been Agent standing Evans, there? Agent Guerra, I'd like you to meet Detective McCall. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. No backup from federal agencies. We don't know who we can trust, so you'll only report to me. I'm going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible find and arrest those responsible for that bombing and protect the witness because without her we don't have anything what if we find out the cartel has someone inside the fbi or the dea well then the hardliners will have a reason to send the military into mexico and let's pray that's not the case because if that happens a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt we need to let the public know that any foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn christmas tree that man is very American. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, I can choose a character. Who do I want to be? We got three people here. Lightning quick reloading. Uh, sniper at nope. I'm not sniping. And what are you? Akimbo SMGs? Shotguns? Fuck. I like the shotgun guy. And this guy's range is short. So fuck you. I'm going with Eddie. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his last name because I know everyone who can is gonna be like, wow. Look at this fucking white kid trying to do shit. And nope. So I'm just gonna call him Eddie. I don't need to make more of an ass of myself. Oh, we're at a funeral. That's sad. This is the worst funeral home ever. Look at how run down it is. This is so random. <laughs> to say goodbye to him please we can't take the risk mija it's too dangerous hey, i said mijo from your father's conversation with alvarez they were arguing I, he was yelling about some 50 million dollar deal as soon as they saw me they went silent and then alvarez started threatening him was he intimidating or bribing him either or gold or lead oro or la chingada what case was Stone working on exactly? The cartel is buying military-grade weaponry. Grenade launchers, anti-tank rockets, night vision goggles. Stone was trying to find their supplier. For 50 mil, they can buy a fucking Abrams tank. Alvarez is probably the middleman. 
so you have no idea.